morning guys welcome back to the channel this is vlog episode 7 and this morning I've come out to a place called Peter's Stone here in Crestbrook Dale because uh, I want to get some pictures of it while the sun is nice and low um, so we're going to go down into the valley take some pictures of the stone um, if I'm feeling adventurous I might try and climb to the top of it and there's a bit of interesting history with this stone as well so I'll let you know about that when we get there but it's going to be a good one so let's get into it We made it down into the valley and Peter's stone is directly in front of me now and I've never been up there I've never got close to it I've certainly never climbed it so let's go do that made it up nearly I think I can see a way to the top there's a nice cut in the rocks just there so it should be an easy way up that's my route So there's some weird history tied up with this rock in particular. On Peter's stone way back when, if you were a criminal, you'd get hung in the city center and then your body would be brought out to Peter's stone and it would be displayed in cages for all to see and presumably to ward off other criminals in the area. Uh, and the last guy to be displayed here ended up being displayed for 11 years and the only reason they took him down is because the residents in the area complained that they could hear his bones jangling against the metal cage in the wind. 
so pretty grim. But it's otherwise a very nice spot. Right, that's Peter's stone done. I'm gonna try and get down as uh, safely as I got up now and not break my legs. <laughs> got a little bit of time today, so um, there's another little hidden gem that's literally like a five minute drive away from here. And it's another one of those spots that's, if you don't know it's there, you don't know it's there. Um, so we're gonna go check that out now. So spot number two is called Waterfall Swallet and I've not been here for a while. And to be honest, it's pretty hot today so the waterfall isn't uh, as flowing as I've seen it in the past. But it's still a properly nice little den. So we could do some photography. Since I came last, this massive tree has come down directly in front of the waterfall, which is kind of a shame because that there is a waterfall under that, believe it or not. So 
So that's the end of the video guys. Hope you enjoyed this little look at Peter's Stone and Waterfall Swallet, two sort of lesser known hidden gems of the Peak District. If you did enjoy this video, let me know uh, down below in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more videos just like this coming out very soon. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.